Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing a 12-box random team break of 2018 Bowman Baseball. This is Hobby Edition. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting to the action. We only sold 23 spots. We combo a bunch of teams, and we took out a bunch of teams, too. So all, that, all the details were on the item description. No Otani autographs yet. A lot of Otani paper, but no Otani autographs yet. At least for us here at Jaspi's Hobbyland. So maybe this will be maybe this will be the break. Good luck, everybody. Let's see who gets the Angels. One and a three, four times for each list. One, two, three, and four. We got Bruce down to Rex. And one and a three, four times for the teams. One. Two, three, and four. We got Phillies all the way down to the Rays. All right, so there you go. Bruce with the Phillies, Josh with the Reds, Scott with the Nationals, Kevin, you got the Red Sox, EA, Royals and Brewers combo, Rich with the Yankees, Rory with the Mets, Darren with the Blue Jays, Jason, you got my Dodgers. Paul Coolwit with the Cubs. Adam, you got the Giants. Brian with the Twins. Nancy with the Padres. Taylor with the White Sox. Braves for Anthony. Taylor, you have the Diamondbacks Astros combo. EA with the Rockies. Dakota with the Marlins and Pirates. Anthony with the Orioles. Nancy with the A's. David Edelstein. Los Angeles, California, Anaheim Angels of Orange County for you. Giuseppe with the Cardinals. And Rex with the Rays. Let's sort by team right here. And before you trade, be sure to look at my 2018 Bowman Baseball Guide. Oh, man. I had a lot of fun creating that Bowman Baseball Guide for you guys. Look at that. So I got a lot of info here. These are all autos only. Their position, their age, what year they were drafted, what round, if available. So a lot of the ones that are blank are probably international players. We've got uh, their expected debut, according to Fangraphs.com, their 2018 organizational rank, according to Fangraphs.com, and Fangraphs.com's overall rank, what their current level is, and whatever additional notes that I came up with, maybe some scouting grades that popped out at me, maybe a recent start that sounded pretty good, that, uh, that were pretty good. So, there it is. Enjoy. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller so I can actually read off some of this info, the additional stats info when I need to, instead of scrolling across. All right, so there you go. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So you, you, you're like, oh, I got the, I got the Brewers. This is terrible. No, actually, it's not terrible. Look at some, look at some of these players right here. Keston Hiuda is a big name. He's a first round draft pick, ninth overall. You know, one in the organizational rank. Lewis Brinson, of course, went to Miami for Christian Yelich, so that's why he was one in the organization. So that'll kind of give you some ideas too. It's all prospects, so you know you never know. These guys could be busts. These guys could be awesome. You know who knows? You kind of get these autographs. You put it in a drawer and see what happens after that. But that'll give you kind of a good idea. Can I do this for all the breaks, says Eric? No. Uh, I think a lot of the breaks, I guess, really don't. I mean, there's not a lot of sports that are so prospect heavy. You know what I mean? It, that's why baseball actually kind of needs something like this because you're not going to see look at look at some of the expected debut years for some of these guys 2021 2020 you're not going to see these guys for a couple of years and by then you might have forgotten about them basketball they're one and done they're right into the nba football you see them we all see them for three or four years in college and then they're in the nfl there's a lot of data back there too and they're all, all of a sudden they're professionals these kids in baseball sign their professional contracts and all of a sudden they disappear for three years we don't see them Unless you're really into the minor leagues. Any trades? Rory has the Mets for trade. If anybody's interested in the Mets. Is there a team that you're looking for, Rory? Your Brewers, maybe? Or no? Here's what the Mets have. Uh, Nick also went through this list uh, and highlighted some of the players that maybe stand out hobby-wise, I think. In terms of just what he kind of knows as maybe... Ones that might have some value. And apologies if I screwed something up on this list. I, I'm usually a few glasses of booze in. 
happen when I'm working on this. All right, let's go. No one's no one's trade. No one wants your one. No one wants the Mets, Rory. I guess Mets super factor for you. All right, there's the case hobby case right here. Rory, is that something you would do? Otherwise, we'll go. Mets for the uh, Brewer Royals Brewers combo. Otherwise, we will just go ahead and break. Rory passes on that. Oh, that's a nice poster. It's this poster right here. Oh, cool. Ah, series series two poster. We'll use that for a future giveaway. All right. You want that random to the break? You really wanted a Series 2 poster, Rory? All right, we'll randomize it. We'll randomize it to the break. All right, there's Hunter Green, Rafael Devers on the cover. Good luck, everybody. One autograph per box in the Hobby Edition. Get comfortable, folks. This, this is going to be an hour, an hour and a half long. We have not pulled any Otani autographs yet. I feel like I have to say that every few minutes because everyone always asks. Uh, Boombox has his has his Bowman guide. Uh, number one, Otani, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, and everyone else, sad face. Nah, but there's some other guys that are set sell pretty well too. Lunch Money it says, Joe, how are you all doing the Angels spot in Bowman? Uh, we did spot randoms. We did spot randomizers, and the, they're all uh, they're all filled up at the moment. And no Otani autographs yet. <laughs> I'm just gonna repeat that every like every couple seconds. Still have not seen those Otani autographs. A lot of Otani paper. Uh, I think they were. I think there were thirty spots and thirty some odd dollars, thirty-five dollars. Someone, someone must remember how much the spot random spots were. There were thirty spots though. Yeah, exactly. Rory's correct. Hunter Green. It's not just Otani. You know, I mean that that is the biggest hyped one, but in terms of in terms of like making money, you know, Hunter Green, Reese Hoskins, a lot of big money hits there. But I know obviously the a lot a lot of stuff is centered around around Otani. I think Victor Robles should be another good one. Yeah, Acuna just made a start today. Luis Robert as well for the White Sox. I think he's a redemption in this. Oh my God, I almost knocked over the Otani Super Factor. All right, and, and the last pack here. Good luck. All right, good luck, folks. Here we go. So we'll breeze through this paper. Obviously, Will Craig will pause on. We'll top load those a little bit later, just in the interest of time. Set the paper aside here. Where am I going to put all this? Put that right there for now. There's Verdugo. Paper base doesn't ship, of course. 
we do make one exception on that on the paper. And there's Jojo Romero. Oh, we have not lunch money. Oh, right, you're Josh. Um, yeah, no, we haven't. Been a little busy, but it's, we're not we're not the ones sending that out. So I don't know what that's all about. I'll we'll look into it. Maybe later tonight or tomorrow. It's very weird though. Ton. He's on the Cardinals now. There's Domingo Acevedo. Those are the atomic refractors. There is... All right, Josh, I'll see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. These are chrome. I need to save you. Paper I put aside there. The pattern is different from the hobby packs versus the jumbo packs. I gotta get used to this new pattern here. So we're basically, so it's only one auto per box here. So we're basically looking for uh, inserts now like this, the talent pipeline. Fernando Tatis Jr. That should be a big one there. Uh, that is four out of 25 for the Padres. Did I print out this? I did print out this list. Why is it over there? Here's the final list, hot off the presses. It's actually a little cold now, but uh, Padres, 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 Padres. Nancy, you'll get that out of 25. Phillies, Bruce had the Phillies. You'll get Jojo Romero. What up, Scott? What's going on? Yeah, the Atomics always look cool. Always a fan of those. Torres just got called up recently. Tyler Stevens, Victor Robles should be a big name in the hobby. There's this guy. I've heard of this guy. Our first paper, Otani of the break. We have not pulled any Otani autographs as of yet. Soon though, I feel like I feel like it's close. Stay tuned. Watch us pull one. 70 out of 499, JD Davis. Don't touch that dial. You want to be able to say, oh yeah, I was watching live. And it's not it's not as cool when you're like, oh yeah, I watched the video where Joe pulled that Otani autograph. That was cool, I guess. Everyone's like, yeah, I saw that too, but there's J.D. Davis for the Astros. But what if you're like, I saw it live. I was there. I was hanging out in the chat, and I was all watching live when that happened. That's, that's the story you want to tell. That's the narrative. That's the good narrative. So don't go anywhere, folks. <laughs> Watch with rapt attention. You never know when it's going to appear. 162 out of 499, Justin Williams. Rays for Rex. Yeah, we, we my computer has dials. Don't touch that dial, EA. It does. I'm constantly off camera. I'm constantly turning dials like it's a like it's a submarine. <laughs> like I'm a submariner. Constant adjusting, tuning, getting the right frequencies. We do things differently here. At Jazz Piece Hobbyland. Unlike the other guys, Eric, we grow all of our hits in the big hit garden. I don't think anyone else does that. The amount of love and care we put to growing Bowman every year. Unparalleled. Put the hit 
So I'll put the hits right here. There. Yeah, well, they should all be big hits, obviously. But you know, sometimes you get. Sometimes not not all the not all the cabbage heads are as large as you want them to be. Sometimes the, you know, there's always a bad tomato on the vine every once in a while. We have to deal with that. We try to figure. We try to get those, find those cases that we grow and just toss those out, burn those. But yeah, I mean, spend a lot of time. Everyone wonders where's Nick Jasky? Where's Nick Jasky? And it's like, oh well, you know, he's doing a lot of the buying of the product. He's doing a lot of a lot of work in the back end uh, of the website, loading up product and pricing out things, and all that takes a while. He also has a bit of a green thumb. Nick Jaspi has a green thumb, and he he is uh, constantly watering the Big Hit Garden, spending a lot of time at Home Depot, getting the right fertilizer, you know, getting the right soil to till. So making sure a lot of sunlight is a lot, a lot of work, a lot of work. And then we bring it, uh, it's pretty much uh, from, from farm to table. It's farm to table. You know, there's like some, re some like restaurants are all about that, farm to table. We, so we bring you the cases from garden, from Bigot Garden to your table. That's how fresh this stuff is. So it's a, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of work. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Part of part of Nick's work also also includes going to see Otani at Angels games too. Unfortunately, they they don't have a lot of baseball games at 10 a.m. EA or at like 11 p.m. They should for me. There is a there is a Dodgers Angel series that comes up. I'm sure it will totally ditch you guys for one of those games if it's like a midweek game. I'll be like, uh, yeah, uh, we got we got a team meeting on Thursday night, so won't be breaking Thursday night, and everyone's gonna be like, hey, Dodgers and Angels are playing. You guys are going to see the game, aren't you? No, no, we're not gonna see the game. Team, we're, it's a team meeting. It's a very important team meeting that we've got going on, discussing business, uh, the future of Jaspie's Hobbyland, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's like, no, you guys are going to the game. And we're like, oh, we're not going to the game. Maybe we'd be we'd be breaking. We'd be breaking with you guys. Definitely, we wouldn't ditch you guys for. Silly baseball game that may or may not feature this guy. What's up, Joseph John? All this Otani talk on the eve of the well, on the eve of the draft. We'll have plenty of time to talk about the draft tomorrow. There's Eric Lauer with a new with a new baseball release day. It's gonna be baseball talk all day, and then tomorrow draft talk. NFL draft. Excited about that. There's Eric Lauer for the Padres. Nancy with that one. Pittsburgh's got a good talent pipeline coming up too. Now we have not seen our autograph yet, so there's one auto in the box. That's right, yeah. Joseph Johns has a vested interest in the NFL draft tomorrow with that Baker Mayfield we pulled him a little while ago. Jordan Hicks was, I don't know why Jordan Hicks was this way, but there he is. All right, and the 
Luis Robert. Reese Hoskins. <laughs> Andres Jimenez has, you have to watch, watch the break folks, watch in case we pull an autograph of him. It's, it's something special. It is definitely something special. And there's our autograph, Joey Wentz. For the Bravos. Anthony with the Braves. No relation to Carson Wentz, I think. There you go. 40th overall in the first round. He was a supplemental pick at the end of the first round. Part of the Braves' youth movement. Junior Fernandez, nice atomic. Eloy Jimenez for the White Sox. I think White, the White Sox also have a quietly good farm system as well. They're not playing well this season, but I think it's only a matter of time before something clicks. Mackenzie Gore, big one for the Padres out of 250 for Nancy. Oh yeah, sorry. I didn't. I didn't look up where the uh, Dodgers Angels series was. EA. Oh, it's in Anaheim in July. Do you know if they play in LA too? I don't know if they do both. Maybe they switch off every year. But that's a that's a regular interleague series that they do. Wow, nice Ozzy Albius. Three out of twenty-five orange papel. That goes to Anthony. All right, that's a nice one. He's got a scary young team building as well. Yeah, Panda, that that him and his autograph definitely needs work. I mean, I guess you you got to understand that maybe uh, there are still rookies, still still young players, not even rookies, they're just in the minors. So just like how they have to build build their swing, develop the pitches. Maybe it'll just take a time, a little time for them to build up their autographs too. So that Dodgers Angels series is in July. So there may be, there may be a day in July, ladies and gentlemen, where mysteriously there'll be a team meeting, and 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 the Dodgers will, or uh, and the and the Jaspies team will uh, will be gone well, for the night. We'll get so many tweets. You guys going live tonight? Like, oh, no. Uh, Joe hurt his hand. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be around tonight. It might be better tomorrow. He's day to day. I'm just going to take the night off. Oh, a week later, they play a series at in LA? Oh, yeah. That might be another day where... where <laughs> Man. That voice isn't feeling so good, EA. I can already feel it right now. <laughs> mm. Something's not right. I can I can feel it already. I can see that already. Although it's kind of hard at this point to kind of calculate when Otani is gonna is gonna pitch. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can already feel the <coughs> something coming down in July, ladies and gentlemen. At least a couple nights. I feel something coming down already. It has nothing to do with the Dodgers playing the Angels. Nothing to do with that. I mean, I am. I am 100% dedicated to you and uh, and breaks. <laughs> we got Captain Obvious, Patrick Goodwin says, Joe's just faking it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> All right, thanks, Captain Obvious. Oh, 
What the fuck? All right. Man, that, it's, it's that, it's that mid-July cold that goes around here in LA. You guys don't know about this. The mid-July cold that happens in Los Angeles. It happens to everybody. All right, next box. Taylor Ward, Chance Adams. Awesome, both. Oh man, I'm mixing up my paper with my chrome pile. Come on, Joe. Come on. All right, I think we're good. <laughs> just trying to help the shipping team out. Just trying to help you get your hits just that much more quickly. Bossman was suggesting that uh, a lot of the stuff that we do tonight will probably be sorted out tomorrow and then packed and labeled uh, and sent out by Friday. So just FYI. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr. out of 499, big prospect for the Blue Jays. That'll go to DMAC. Kybert Ruiz. was a score there in that game. And Jose Adalas Garcia. It wasn't uh, Gabriel. I don't know if Gabe is still here. I think he was talking, he was asking the crew about what people, what we thought about this particular player. He uh, defected from Cuba back in 2016. He's in AAA now. Fifth overall prospect uh, organizational prospect right here. He signed with the Cardinals in 2017 after he defected. So 12 home runs for Springfield, 820 OPS, falling his promotion to Memphis, and speed, swiped, uh, swiped 15 bags. So this could be a big one for the Cardinals. That'll go to Giuseppe with the Cardinals. There you go, man. Anyone else have any thoughts on any? We've got some Cardinals fans in here. Any anyone know have any additional information on him? Dodgers prospect. Um, uh, no, I don't think this is a quite considered the rookie card of Vlad Guerrero yet until he's up and then he gets a little the RC treatment. You'll see some of these cards with RC on it. I guess that, that would usually be considered the, the classic uh, rookie card. I think he's still a year or two away, I think. No Otani autographs yet. There's Taylor Clark, 47 out of 499. Diamondbacks. Trevor, uh, Taylor Williams, not Trevor Williams. I think Trevor Williams is a Pirates pitcher. There's Taylor Clark for Taylor Williams. There he is. Ever, everyone heard the... Uh, Everyone heard the story about Vlad Guerrero Jr., right? Recently in spring training, I think they're they're the uh, Blue Jays had a spring training game. Was it in Montreal? Yeah, the exhibition game in Montreal or something like that. Anyway, point is, Vlad Guerrero Jr. hit hit like a walk off home run and is and uh and really just 
got the people going. Purple Paper Gary Sanchez, 007 out of 250 for the Yankees. That'll be for Rich. Has anyone seen any uh, Otani paper that has uh, that has him hitting? Or is, are they all just him pitching? Anyone know? I don't even know if there's variations that are there. All right. That's that for that box. All right, and the next one. All right, here we go, next one. All Robert sees is uh, pitching, hitting Otani, I think Rory says, will probably be in Bowman Chrome. Uh, does anyone remember offhand how much the Rockies were? Gabriel is curious. I don't remember. Danny Sullivan, are the Angels a spot random or can you buy them? They they are spot randoms. And uh, for all the pick your teams, the spot randoms are all sold out though, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, the Rockies were Rockies were a thousand dollars, Gabriel. Actually, I think, yeah, I think Eric's right. I think they were closer to $100. $99, $99, something like that. Under $100, classic retail pricing. Yeah, definitely. There's, it was like a under, under 100 bucks, Gabe. box chugging along and we've got a bandel isabel blue chrome for the dodge i don't really know a lot about this guy i didn't get a lot of information on him maybe the back of this baseball card will let me know dodgers jason cox with the dodge 15 out of 150 signed as a 2013 free agent from the dominican republic Oh, hitting, the, hitting them homers. Proven run producer. All right, I like that. Oh, yeah, is he on the Reds now? I think maybe that's where I remember his name. Who was he moved for? I think it was, like, another random prospect. Well, still goes to the Dodgers. Can't forget about that guy. No Otani autos as of yet. But maybe this case, David Edelstein. I know everyone's thinking it. Hey, have, have, has Jaspies pulled one yet? No, negative. Not yet. Alex Fajardo, 131 out of 150. Blue Shimmer. Shimmy Shim going to the Tigers. Now, are the Tigers not on this list? 
We took out the Tigers. Well, we'll randomize this to one person in the break when we do the post poster randomizer. Posterize. And we got a gold, one out of 50, Tyler Stevenson. That card is gold! Reds, Josh Pruce with the Reds. Atomic for the Indians. All right, I'm getting I'm getting the pattern of these packs now. I'm getting into a nice groove. Getting into a nice groove. Orange, Jose. Adolis Garcia, 22 out of 25 for the Redbirds. Another one for Giuseppe. Love the orange parallels. Bowman Sterling inserts. And a couple paper to end things. All right, nice orange parallel. And Isabel. And next box. All right, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Probably time for, for this box. Let's do some score updates. For Wednesday, April 25th, 2018, new release day, Tigers beating the uh, Tigers beating the Pirates in Pittsburgh, 13 to 10. They're also playing the second of a doubleheader. It's uh, now the Pirates have the lead, three one in the top of the fourth. Wow, Nationals beating up on the on the Giants, 15 to two, 15 to two in San Francisco. Rockies beat the Padres five to two. Houston beat the visiting Angels five to two. Mariners beating the White Sox four three, and then all the other games are in progress. Games are close to finishing. Bottom of the seventh, the Yankees lead the Twins six four. Top of the ninth. Braves with a narrow 5-4 lead. The bottom of the eighth, Phillies leading the Diamondbacks 5-3. Bottom of the eighth, Rays leading the Orioles 8-4. Top of the eighth, the Red Sox with a slim 4-3 lead over the Blue Jays in the top of the eighth. Top of the eighth, Cleveland with a 3-1 lead over the Cubbies. Top of the sixth, I have no idea why the Dodgers are down to the Marlins 3-0. In the top of the sixth, 
Come on, Dodgers. Unbelievable. Top of the fifth. It wasn't Kershaw pitching today. Top of the fifth. A's leading 2-1 over the Rangers. Middle of the sixth inning, or going to the bottom of the sixth inning. Brewers leading the Royals 4-1. And the bottom of the fourth, Cardinals have a 5-1 lead over the Mets. What, what happened in that game? What's going on here? Oh, giving up RBIs to who? To Miguel Rojas? A three-run homer off of Kershaw in the fifth inning. Two on, two out, two out homer? Come on, Kershaw. Six walks for him today? It's a weird night. All right. Well, Miguel Andujar. It's kind of scary how many young prospects the Yankees just keep calling up. It's terrifying. Tani, of course, David Edelstein. These papers still carry some value, which is crazy. That's him looking up at that home run. <sighs> Dodgers will be fine. Dodgers will be fine. It's a long season. It's a long season. It's a long season. I'll just keep telling myself. It's a long season. Dodger leaves. It's a long season. Bryce Harper. Where does Bryce Harper end up? He's going to get paid. Avil Garcia went down with an injury. There's Anthony Rizzo out of 499. Paper that goes to the Cubbies. That'll be for Paul. Cool quid. Reese Hoskins and Will Smith. 11 out of 250, the fresh Prince of Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, he was born and raised. On the playground is where he spent most of his days, chilling out, maxing, and relaxing all cool, and playing some baseball outside of the school. When a couple of guys, they were up to no good, started making trouble in his neighborhood, then he went to L.A., and then got drafted. That's a true story, folks. True story of Will Smith. And we got his his buddy, his teammate, Alex Verdugo. Nice Alex Verdugo for the Dodgers. Jason Cox with the Dodgers. Now, if, Jason, if, if the Dodgers are not capable of scoring, of getting more than one hit, one hit off of who? Come on. Off of Trevor G.D. Richards? They might have to call up this guy to get some things going. It's a long season. It's a long season. It's a long season. It's a long season. Nice AJ Puck Atomic. 
I'm looking for a Ron, Ronald Acuna card so I can tell that batting glove story, Hayes. <laughs> I see it in the chat. I'm not ignoring it. I'm just trying to find a good moment to squeeze it in. Come on, stories. Trying to be a good broadcaster. <laughs> Gavin Lux is a few years away, Michael G. Hi, Michael G. He's, I think he's a few years away. They drafted him out of high school like last year. There's Alex Jackson out of 250. I'll shoehorn it in, Hayes. Watch. Purple paper. You know, his teammate, Ronald Acuna, Hayes was saying, wears batting gloves and has another pair in his back pocket. That's what Alex Jackson's teammate is doing. That goes to the Braves, Anthony. See? Pro. You know, and uh, Rory was Rory saying, well, you got to have spares, bro. Got to have spares. And then, and then Hayes counters with, yeah, I guess so. But, like, what determines what gloves he wears? And he wore different gloves at different at-bats? Rory says, oh, it's all feel. It's all feel. He's like, oh, okay, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling that. Like, maybe it's this batting glove. All right, Rory looking for a Mets Super Fractor. We have not seen a train whistle yet. Out of fives or under. We have not seen an Otani autograph yet. Otani watch. Zero autographs from Jaspi's Hobbyland. For shame. For shame. <laughs> Rory's like, or just a hit would be nice. Well, we're almost halfway through this break. And we're just about halfway through this break. Oh, I gotta speed it up a little bit here. Oh, these, just, these just take forever. Oh, nice, Michael G. Oh, that's what you're talking about, Rory. Yeah. I didn't think I was going that slow. Usually I'm pretty quick. All right, well, we got we to we gotta go into speed mode, ladies and gentlemen. So I got to get this in under time, the proper time. I said about an hour and a half. That's how long this should take me. I already at the 50-minute 50, 50 mark. I'm going to not top load the parallels. I think that take that takes a little extra time. I'm just going to sleeve them. So just keep that in mind. Michael G is saying the uh, Fanatics All-Star drawing. Yeah, there he is. That's one hitting the Dodgers right now. Unbelievable. There's Michael Mercado to 50. And Otani, paper base. Um, I think there was a Rays numbered parallel, not a serial numbered card, Rex, but no ink thus far in this random team break.
Can't wait for his autograph to show up. You're gonna love it, uh, Rory. Have you seen his autograph yet? Andres Jimenez. I don't know if you were watching earlier. We got a nice orange. Leone Tavares. One out of 25. Out of 25 is an under. I'll have to top load right away. These are too nice. Orange going to the Rangers. That'll be, I think we took out the Rangers. All right, well, there'll be another one for the randomizer. Uh, we'll go winner take all on the on the extra on the extra cards. Winner take all. There's Matt Sauer for the Yankees. That'll go to Rich, one of their top prospects there too. I think he's a little bit younger though, maybe out of high school. I'm assuming that's Matthew 1926 is what he's going with. So for the randomizer at the end, the name on top will get the uh, extra bonus cards of the teams that we did not include into this random break. And then the second name will get the, uh, we'll get the poster. Kyle Young out of 125. All right, and next box. Now, Michael G mentioning, he is like, listen, I get the hype. I get the Otani hype, but it's just insane to see that his orange autograph on eBay is up there for a $50,000 offer. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get 50000 but what? Even if he gets 25000 it's crazy. But hey, I mean... It's just it's just that hype. It's the it's a it's a collection of all these variables that collect together into a perfect hype storm. And for the hobby, it's a, it's a it's it's a good kind of hype. Robert Rohr thinks. Won't get over 10,000? Well, even then, I'll still take 10,000 for an orange out of 25. I don't, think, I don't think I'd complain about that. You, know, you just shoot the moon to see if you could get 50,000. Then you accept whatever else. I mean, even if it's a fraction of the price, it'll still be a great deal. The Atomic 100 is at 37,000 in bid. That's, that's crazy. Mr. Beetle, what's going on? I mean, look back in the day, Strasburg prices were insane. Mike Trout prices were insane. I mean, wow, another Atomic Refractor Auto sold on auction for 22,000, says, says Davey. I mean, I'm sure a lot of this is also just initial new release. And this happens with any new release. 
where there's there's additional the prices get bumped up on you really. But even if it tapers off, I'm sure Otani will still tape will plateau at a nice price too. Uh, well, I mean that could happen, Boombox. Well, that that's a scary. I mean this this is very similar to playing the stock market. There's Alex Lang out of 499. You're counting on Alex Lang. You know, to be somebody. Counting on all these guys to be somebody. Major League Ball Clubs are paying these guys millions of dollars to hopefully get them to a World Series. I mean, everyone's gambling on the arms or bat, <laughs> the arms or hands of kids in their early 20s. Oh, nice. Rookie of the Year favorites, Alex Verdugo. One, two, three out of 150. Nice one for the Dodgers, Jason Cox. Kyle Tucker, that's another big Astros prospect coming up their pipeline, coming down their pipeline, coming through their pipeline, coming up from the farm. Rowdy Tellez, Tellez, 367 out of 499. Blue Jays. Oh, yeah, I wasn't sleeping those up. Save time. There he is again. Rowdy, rowdy. Austin Hayes, 250. Purple paper. Savan Floriel. Victor Robles would be a big name for the Nationals this year. Next box. Right, so Michael G is guessing. No, I've not seen any Robles autos yet. Robert. Um, so Michael G is speculating. So if out of 100 is 37,000, a super fractor of Otani, super fractor autograph of Otani out of 2018 Bowman Baseball has got to be more than 60,000, I would assume, right? I think so. Um, I would imagine so.
You gotta watch the video, Rex. You can't. I can't let you off that easy. Can't let you off that easy. Video is up. Yes, there was. Um, <laughs> Landon's like, what are the RPA, what are the RPA cards going to be worth? A house? No, I don't think the RPA is, uh, listen, this is, this is the product, uh, this is the product where his value is going to be the highest, because this is just, a lot of people consider this to be like the main sort of rookie or prospect product, right? So, I think that's why... A lot of the values of his stuff out of a product like Bowman Baseball will be will be huge. Other stuff, I mean, Otani is going to sell even even when his value sort of plateaus a little bit. It's still going to plateau at a very high level. So his stuff is always going to be valuable throughout the year. But I think when you're talking about those crazy like tens of thousands of dollars value and that kind of stuff. Like, I think that's mostly going to be contained to products like this and less so in other future products. This is such a, this is such a popular, uh, a popular flagship sort of product. There's JP Crawford to 150. And that'll go to the Phillies. That'll go to Bruce. Denzel, Keston Hiuda, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Will Smith, and a blue Anthony Rizzo for the Cubbies. Rex, you heard my answer, right? Yeah, you did get a, you did get him. I think it was like in the first box too. And I was happy because that's what you were looking for. I think it wasn't it wasn't numbered. I don't remember it being numbered. That you'll have to double check, but. But yeah, we pulled it. And then another guy later on in the break, too. Oh, there's the autograph right here. Daniel Johnson. Uh, for Scott McNulty and the Nationals. Nice. Nice autograph. Oh, no worries, Rex. He had a he had a great debut, Triple A debut too. Cubs prospect. Um, no, here's the, I have the schedule for everybody right here. But I think, I think that should, that should be next, right? Then we have TriStar right after this. And then we'll have, um, a spot random and then the pick your team is probably sold out by now.
Luis Urias out of 150 for Nancy and the Padres. Frazier. And Nick Prado out of 150. Blue chrome for the Royals. Goes to EA with the Royals and Brewers combo. All right, four boxes to go. I think I'm making up some of the time that I lost. All right, good luck, everybody. Ed Ram saying, if, hey, if you're willing to spend 30K-ish on one card, why not just buy a case or two from Jasky? Maybe that person doesn't know we exist. I don't know, I mean, if you're, uh, if you're the kind of person that has the income, you know, the wealth to spend $30,000 on a card, I suppose at that point, at that level, they'd just be like, well, why not just buy it directly, not not deal with the opening of the cases and whatnot. Yeah, it's a lot of work to open that. That's why you have me do it. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it's an eye-watering amount because I think for a lot of us, you know, most of us here probably not going to, even if we had the money, most of us here are sitting there going, I don't think I'd spend $30,000 on a card, but I can't begrudge a person, can't tell a person how to spend their disposable income, you know what I mean? Like, you can just be, you can just be like, I don't know, there are people that have all sorts of different hobbies they put a lot of money into. It. Doesn't necessarily have a financial return, they just do it because they love it. Steals and deals. Oh, I, I keep I really should I really should say this every other pack. No Otani autos yet. I'm sure someone new is gonna be popping into the room every every other moment and asking if there's Otani autographs. Jojo Romero, 99 for the Phillies. There's an autograph right there coming up for the Reds. Jose Ciri. Nice atomic refractor autograph for the red legs. That'll go to Josh Pruce. 54 out of 100 on this guy. Baseball America ranks him at number 10 power speed prospect in the minors. It's pretty good. Reds rebuilding. Orange, Corey Ray, 10 out of 25. 
Brew Crew, EA with the Royals Brewers combo. Rory, since you're a Brewers fan, is there anything you can tell us about Corey Ray? Isn't he already in the majors? Uh, yeah, people are steals and deals. Number two prospect in the Brewers system, says Rory. There's Andres Jimenez, speaking of Rory. He has the Mets out of 499. People are really spending that much on the Otani Auto. The hype is real. Uh, Jay's asking, do your friends make you deal? Yeah, we actually, yes. I do, I do end up being a most time dealer when we're playing poker. Scott McNulty thinks what it's it's Otani's agent that's driving up the price. Otani's contract is not that big. He could have gotten more money if he waited a number of years, but he intentionally came out early, and so he actually limited himself from getting a lot more money. And I don't think he's done any, at least not in LA. I haven't seen him do any endorsements yet. He hasn't cashed in on that yet. All right, next. And really, it doesn't it doesn't really help the agent to uh, to drive up the price on those Otani's because they already got paid for this. So all the they already got paid for all the autographs in this set. They can't make any more or less money for for it. To them, they are they they already they're already walking to the bank. I hope so too. Seals and deals. There's there's no reason for for you know. There's no reason to root against the guy. Seals and deals. Like I hope he's worth the hype. Keeps on a good streak. I mean, listen. There's always going to be a little bit of inflation with any hot rookie or any big popular name that comes out any year. Let me do this. You do this long enough. And, you know, everyone will have a story of how so-and-so was hyped up that much and so-and-so was hyped up that much. It always happens. But you hope that you hope that he does well. It'll be good for the hobby. Be interesting to see what Otani's final numbers are. I mean, it's a, it is a long season. Uh, Japanese baseball league seasons are much, or not much shorter, but a little little bit shorter. Gets more days of rest in between, so it's always a grind. And major league baseball is just a different animal too. A lot of travel, a lot of different weather. You know, let's let's see how Otani does in the middle of. August playing the Rangers in a 95 degree day game on a Sunday, you know, like you know, Darvish was there for years and he said that that some some days those those summer days would just sap your strength. All right. Almost done, folks.
few more boxes to go. I think I made up a lot of good time here. I think I kind of know how I need to pace myself for the next hobby case. And Mackenzie Mills for the Phillies, Refractor. Autograph. It's out of 275 out of 499. I don't know how he ended up with the, I might have that in my notes. I don't know how he ended up with the Phillies, the Nationals. I think I wrote that down. Um, have, do we see a Red Sox auto? I don't think so, Kevin. I don't remember calling out your name. There may have been some parallels for the Red Sox, but I don't remember an autograph as of yet. There's Mackenzie Mills again out of 125. Another one for Bruce and the Phillies. Pedro Avila, Atomic, Dylan Cousins. Brian Miller. The Dodgers still losing to the... 4-1. Dodgers still losing to the Marlins. Jake Berger, out of 499 for the White Sox. That'll go to Taylor. Marcos Molina, 425 out of 499 for Rory and the Mets. And they do have a pretty pretty solid pipeline, the Blue Jays. Cunha made his debut. He'll be a big name for the Braves. If he, if he has a hot week, it'll be good for the hobby, too. <laughs> Ed Ramos saying, Jake Berger looks like he may have had maybe one too many burgers. Hey, if he's comfortable playing at that weight, at that size, good for him. 6'2", 2'10". Might be a little bit more than 2'10". Could just be a bad picture, too, Ed Ramos. There's Mackenzie Mills. And two boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. This is a 12 box hobby edition, random team break number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. The next one is in the store. It's getting close. Let's drop that schedule again right there. I think we're, I think we're kind of, we're just a, maybe 10 minutes behind schedule. But after this, we'll do a quick two box break of uh, TriStar. Those are the autographed football jerseys. And then after that, 
open up this pack. Come on. So we'll do that jersey break. Um, then we'll do spot random number two, because I think pick your team two should be full by now. No, it's not. Well, there's two teams left in pick your team two. So we'll hold on the spot randomizer until that, uh, that pick your team two is filled up. Now, if we fill that up pretty much right away, and hopefully we can, that's on jazbeeshobbyland.com. I think only two teams are left. Maybe inexpensive teams left. We may have time to squeeze in another Bowman baseball case break from jazbeeshobbyland.com if you want to. Because I think we have timed it. We have timed it so that we should be able to do that. If not, there's a couple other things on the site that we can uh, we can do. No, I'm good, Ed Ram. Not yet. Not yet. This is only case two. If I get to, once I'm at case four at 9:30 LA time, then I'll definitely start to slow down. I'm still feeling pretty good here. This is fine. This is nothing. We did a, I mean, a couple years ago. We did a Bowman a 20 case break Bowman baseball. We were just we were just ripping case after case after case. All right. No, we're not even at two hours on this break, Rory. We are at hour 22. And before I started it, I calculated about an hour and a half on this break. So I am on schedule, kind of on schedule. There's Nikki Delmonico at a 250. Purple paper for the White Sox. That'll be for Taylor. Oh, did I just miss a paper Otani? Come on, Otani. That's like $12 million. Thanks for the sharp eyes, guys. Um, any massive case breaks in the future, like multi-case breaks? Probably not. I think those, those, those are pretty rare. A lot of it has to do with, can we get enough cases to even do that, to even warrant that? So really, it's just a matter of of, uh, of of quantity, you know. So even if we wanted to, we might not be able to. And we've got a Taylor Trammell seven out of twenty-five Bowman trending. Nice one for the red legs. That'll be for Josh Pruce. There's Devers. There's Alex Fiedo. Uh We don't have any Tigers. We didn't include the Tigers in this, so that'll be in that that lot right there of the teams that were not represented in this break. There's Andres Jimenez, 42 out of 99. There it is, Rory. 
this is quite possibly, and Andres, if, if you're listening, you got to work on this one, man. That's just, you just scribbled. I mean, at least Carlos Henderson kind of gives you, goes across the, goes across the canvas, right? At least Dalvin Cook lifts his hand for D and C. Although his autograph has actually been getting a lot better in later products, but this is. You gotta have a big league auto, bro. If you wanna be a big leaguer, you gotta have a big league auto. Step your game up. Although, one thing I will give him credit for, it's consistent. <laughs> it's, it pretty much looks like the exact same set of scribbles that we saw in the auto in the previous case. So there's something to be said about, about, his, uh, about keeping it consistent. It's a repeatable signature, which is important in baseball, right? When you're pitching, when you're hitting, you want a repeatable swing, right? A repeatable delivery. You know, anyone can luck into throwing a 95 mile per hour fastball, right? Or snapping off a, a a 12 to 6 curveball, right? But can you do it every time? It's a difference. So at least the credit that you can give to Andres Jimenez is that. Uh, consistency. There's a repeatable delivery in that autograph. So credit to him. Ed, Ed's wondering if anybody, Ed Rollins is wondering if anybody's just signed it, a dot as an auto. I'm sure if that ever happened, the card companies might look at that and be like, oh, did you forget to sign? <laughs> you sent these back without signing. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck, folks. One more autograph to go and parallels. Still looking for that Met Super Frack. We have not seen a train whistle yet. Nah, Gabriel. Dalvin Cook's autograph has gotten a lot better. You got to give him credit. He, he worked on it. Early in the year, not good. But as the football season went on, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give him some credit. Credit where credit is due. You know, so it's looking a lot better. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. We got some Adbert Alize, Alize? Out of 125. Alzole. There we go. Alzole. For the Cubbies, for Paul Cool Wit. Cool Whit. Cool Whip. And Jaron Kendall, nice Jaron Kendall autograph for the Dodgers. Jason Cox with my Dodgers. There you go. First round pick.
It's a solid one for the Dodgers. Spencer Howard, Atomic. Yeah, that's right, Rex. That's I mean, that's right, Rory. If it's not Jaspies, who cares? Come on, Rex. Translate translation, Rory. The breaker that the breaker that Rex likes more than me pulled a cool Otani auto. Out of four ninety nine, Zach Granite. The LA talent pipeline is looking good. Will Craig, 131 out of 250 purple paper. Otani. <laughs> right, Rory. There's the Mets talent pipeline. They're looking good. A lot of teams. Great, great farm systems. Oh, Rex is trying to make me jump. Oh, I see. I see what it is. I get it now. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr. And it's only a matter of time before all of you will be telling other people and bugging other breakers in their rooms about what Jaspi's pulled. <laughs> There's our break, folks. Uh, randomizers. Let's do some randomizers really quick. Slide these over. Jaron Kendall for the Dodgers was the last auto. Uh, winner take all on the teams that were not represented in the break. And the second name will get this uh, Topps Series 2 poster. So let's go to random.org. Let's get a blank list. Let's go back to the list. So from Taylor down to Scott, you all have a chance. So in top name card, second name poster. After 10 times, four and a six, good luck. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, Scott McNulty, you'll get the few extra bonus cards that we pulled. The Fiedo, the orange, Leody Tavares, and the Alex Fiedo again. And Anthony, you will get a Series 2 poster coming your way. So there you have it, folks. Thank you very much. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll have more tonight, so stick around. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.